In this video tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate how to download and install FileZilla and then import the XML settings that you need in order to configure FileZilla. And then I'll show you how to use FileZilla to then connect to the web server. So to get started with all of this, here in Windows, I'll use the Chrome browser. To find FileZilla, we can just in Google type FileZilla download. Click on the link to download FileZilla. The FileZilla page will know whether or not you're on a Windows computer or a Mac computer. So here I see Windows for my Windows computer. I would just left click here on the green download now button to download FileZilla. I've already done that to save time so we'll move on to the installation. Here in my downloads folder you can see the FileZilla program download and I have the other file here, the XML file, that I'll need in just a few moments. We'll double click on the installer to begin the installation process. Select Yes. And you have to be careful when installing software that you read the screens carefully to make sure that they do not install software that you do not want. We are attempting now to install FileZilla and that's all that we want to install. So be sure and read these windows carefully. This first one is OK. We'll click Next. The second window is pretty sleazy. I'm very disappointed with the SourceForge and, and FileZilla for doing this kind of thing to you. These kinds of programs that are offered through these installers are what some people call foistware, F-O-I-S-T, foistware, because they're trying to foist software on you that you are not at the moment trying to get. Some people call it sleazeware, like sleazy. It's sleazy for installers to do this kind of stuff because we're wanting to install FileZilla. That's all that we want. We don't have time to explore whether or not the Weather Channel desktop program here is anything that we want. And my recommendation is always be very careful when you come to these screens and don't just automatically click on the default button. Like here, green is already highlighted for accept, but I'm going to read the screen carefully and I'm always going to decline. If I want the Weather Channel desktop weather app, I will go looking for it. So right now, decline it. And here's another one, Pal Talk. Join the world's largest video chat community. I hope the SourceForge or FileZilla people will watch this video tutorial and realize that this is very unethical. This is sleazy. It's called sleazeware. They're trying to sneak stuff in on you. Don't let them do it. Click Decline. Make your choice here about whether you want FileZilla to install only for you or for anyone who uses this computer. You can just accept the other settings as default and then click finish when it's installed. FileZilla is now running on the computer. I'm going to come to the menu bar and click file. I will come down to import and click import. I will navigate to where the XML file is on this computer. Find the XML file that contains your configuration information. Select it by left clicking on it one time causing the file name to appear down here in the file name field and then click open. You'll get the import settings screen that says the selected file contains importable data. So we're going to make sure that checkbox is checked and then click OK. And it says the selected categories have been imported. Click OK. So we should be able to come to the site manager. So we click on file and site manager and sure enough, there is the account settings. Highlight it and click Connect. That instantly then establishes an FTP connection to your remote server. Here is your root directory. If you click on the plus on a Windows computer, then you'll be able to see whatever files and folders are installed there for you.